Hi there folks, Gareth here from tracyandmatt.co.uk and this is the Debo SteadyVid X Video Stabilizer. Um it doesn't say it doesn't it's not ticked here which one it is, but I believe it's this one. It'd be nice if it was that one, that's kind of a funky shit. Essentially all this is is a bit of metal that has a weight at the bottom, a counterbalance, and you set the camera on top, hold this, and it achieves essentially steady cam. Not quite as great as what they use in Hollywood. They uh, spend millions on their steady cams. We prefer to pay twenty-two pounds for ours. Okay, so Debo on the side there. Same thing on the back as the front. The front is the back. Debo on this side. And the features say supports digital cameras and camcorders up to two point one pounds. DSLRs can be used on Steady Vid X with light senses with light lenses sorry comfort grip handle uh, support gimbal for smooth accurate motion polished chrome counterweight spin it level spin it level i'm guessing that's just a spirit level type thing is that a spelling is it a spirit level let's just put an n in there instead of an r and thumb stabilizer specifications low 2.1 pounds or 95 kilo 0.95 kilograms construction aluminum body aluminium body thankfully uh, rubber padded handle and those are the dimensions Chinese symbol here so you'll never guess where this was made instructions attached to camera adjust counterweight until center of gravity is reached tighten counterweight to hold in place okay that's Let's whip this out. It's going to be difficult to show this because the camera I'm going to use on this is is here, and you're looking through it. So we'll just have a play with it and see what happens. Right. So there is a bit of packing foam. There's not too much in here, although it for twenty two quid. Like, that's fantastic value for money for what you're getting here. It's. It's heavy, it's well packaged, it's, it looks like a bit of hardware from uh, for a tool. Okay, and uh, it's it's all metal, there's no plastic here at all, I don't think. So, uh, this is the shape of it. We, it, it folds up nice and neat for travel, just like so. Uh, it's got a rubber handle with, with good grip on it. And it has the counterbalance here, which is nice and shiny. It's there's is there three there? There looks to be three. Well, we'll have a play with it and see. Right, so we can adjust this thusly, uh, depending on I guess the weight of the camera. Uh, this will all come into play just to get the right balance. You tighten it with that metal screw there. And that's what I, I can I can feel the effect of it already. Okay, so there are adjustments all over the show. We can do this to uh, allow us to move this a good bit more and hold it at certain angles. Obviously, you're not going to be throwing this around all over the place, but it depends entirely on the camera. But it should pull this down. It. It's quite nifty. It'll probably take a while to get used to it, mind you. On the top here, we have a another screw. With a tiny bit of packaging stuck to it. Oh, get away! There we go. Uh, that allows you to move all around here, depending on where the hole is on the bottom of your camera, and then you tighten it as so. Actually, you don't tighten it. You just tighten it whenever you touch the camera on top. So hopefully my camera will rest pretty much in the center. That would be nicest. Right above the uh, the actual mechanism here. And wherever you happen to be using it, it should pretty much keep it a little bit less jerky. Obviously, uh, optimal image stabilization is getting better and better. However, in the likes of SLRs and and things, they, they don't have great 
um, optical image stabilization. So something like this is fairly handy to have. You can take this screw out and adjust it here. And then you can take off the weights depending on the weight of your camera. Right, so there's two. But there is space here to be able to add more on if you're using a particularly heavy camera. My camera isn't the heaviest. But what we'll do is we'll go out and get some footage in the garden of me running with this attached and see just how smooth it is. Okay, so first up I thought we'd go with a bit of a stair test. It's the ultimate test of, of walking around. And as you can see, it's it's somewhat smooth coming down here. Don't mind the Casino Royale poster there. And into our untidy utility room. I'm pretty much going at a normal pace here. I'm not do, making any special efforts to try and steady the camera itself. I'm letting the steady cam do all the work essentially. So this is in the garden, dandering along here. Uh, notably, the camera does tend to pull a bit to the left and to the right, but it's probably more because I'm using the wrong type of camera on top of this steady cam. The Panasonic Lumix that this is being shot on is more of a bridge camera as opposed to the <laughs> cheeky little monkey there, um, as opposed to a typical video camera which would sit on this lengthwise as opposed to widthwise. However, given that this is a 20 pound peripheral for your video camera, these shots are particularly smooth. I am putting this thing through its paces and turning it quite a lot as opposed to just following one subject, which you would normally do with a Steadicam. Given the build quality and the portability of the actual Steadicam, this thing is fantastic. You could spend 20 quid far worse than on something like this.